Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here on the road in Munich, right on the border of the Heidhausen quarter. Behind uh, you, in front of me, is the tunnel that leads through to uh, Berg am Leim. But we're gonna have a walk today up this street here, which is uh, Orléansstraße, Rue d'Orléans, as this is the French quarter, at the edge of the Heidhausen quarter. And the Ostbahnhof is also not that far in this direction. So, let's go. But at first here, classical Heidhausen. This is such a beautiful building with all these uh, balconies and the, the gold up on top. This just looks wonderful. Also the paintings on the side, St. Wolfgang. And this uh, is not only a beautiful house, it's also a bar. This is the uh, tap house. The entrance is here at the lower level where you can get beer from all over the world on tap. That's their program. And the beer is quite good. So, tap house done. Whoop, where's the dock? Here it is. Let's go towards Munich East Station. So this is one of the less beautiful uh, streets in uh, Heidhausen, but it's still not bad. Bus stop here, Orléansstraße. I have company today. We just walked for about nine kilometers. She's still fresh, so am I. So COVID is in the rear mirror. Really hope so. And I really hope there is no long COVID involved with me or with uh, Mrs. Psychopunk. Right now, at least for me, it looks quite good. Oh, come. That's all right, yeah. Uh, walk yesterday where I brought up a little speed. This was really good. Today some distance and some speed and it also feels good. So approaching uh, Munich East Station. Beautiful elderly buildings here in the Heidhausen quarter. They're getting getting a little older as we come further towards the station which is yeah, square. You can already see the square. Here's one of the shops I don't like to see. This is a gun shop. One of the few in Munich. And I don't like guns. I think they should close right away. And not allow anyone to have a gun. Okay. Back to the beauty here of Heidhausen. Already noticed a lot of buses going by here. This is a very busy bus route, and the bus station at the Ostbahnhof, which we are approaching now already, is one of the busiest in the city. And with this sunlight right now, this looks absolutely brilliant. But what I'm gonna do now, jump over to the other side because the chance was good. And also because of uh, there are a lot of people on the right side of the street and I don't want to film too close to them. And of course from this side you can have a much better look at the bus station and how much is going on there. And one more point, the uh, Orléans Platz, Square d'Orléans, is here on the left, and I want to tell a story about this square. Just a little one. <clears throat> so, the white building over there on the right side, this is the Ostbahnhof, Munich East Station. I don't know if it's the second busiest or the third busiest railway station in Munich, but it's one of them. Because Munich has, uh, yeah, of course, Hauptbahnhof, central station, one of the busiest stations, not only in Munich, but in Ger the busiest station in Munich and one of the busiest in Germany. And we have the Ostbahnhof, which is right here, and we have Pasing. These are the three major stations. And now let's have a look. Bus here, bus there, another bus, bus, another bus. 
another bus is pulling in over there. So you have bus service here from the bus station at the Ostbahnhof every minute, at least every minute. Bus is going all over the city, which is not bad. And of course here on this side we have the Orléans Platz, the Square d'Orléans, as we are in the French Quarter. This square looks quite nice. There's a public toilet over there, supermarket, a uh, Galleria shop. The street that goes down there goes towards Rosenheimer Platz. The street over there goes uh, to uh, Max Weber Platz. This is the uh, uh, to the uh, ah damn Bordeaux Platz. This is where the tram goes. The rest of the square looks quite easy with trees. Over there, construction's going on. They have new cobstones they are setting up, and something like a, a roof. I don't know what that's going to be. Anyway, they're setting it up, and this looks not bad. But one thing that could have happened to this square and does not happen now is a major renovation because as you know i mentioned it on the channel munich is building a new core route for the s-bahn the so-called zweite stammstrecke which will have uh, will start at lime in the west and then go via marine uh, central station hauptbahnhof then marienhof and there will be another underground station here at the Ostbahnhof, before it goes overground again to end at Leuchtenbergring to the east. And it was planned to have the Ostbahnhof station of the second core route right here where I'm standing at the Orléans Square. For this, they would have taken the whole square apart. This whole square would have been vanished. They would have set up a nice uh, noise cancelling wall all around the square and digged here, right where I'm standing, 40, 50 meters deep into the ground to build a new S-Bahn station right here where I'm standing. And this construction would have already started if they hadn't come up with an alternate plan. Because at the east side of the Ostbahnhof, so on the other side, there is an aerial that's not used right now. This used. What are you doing? This used to be an aerial where uh, you could have loaded your car onto a train. My father once did that. He loaded his motorcycle on the train in the evening, jumped on the train, went to bed, and when he woke up, he and his motorcycle were in uh, southern France. But. This way of transportation seems not to be acceptable anymore. So the so-called Fallade Bahnhof was closed a few years ago. And they found out, oh, okay, if we could build the new station for the new core route over there, we could save only our square and it will get cheaper as we don't have to dig 40, 50 meters deep into the ground, but just 20. So they changed the plans and decided, okay, we leave only on square as it is and uh, put the second core route, the station for the second core route, somewhere else in the east on the other side of the station. And I think this was quite a good idea. It saved the city a lot of money and it saved the square. And people like this square here, not only for the tram station, connection to a lot of buses and uh, the S-Bahn and regional trains here at the station of course. Also in summer it's quite nice, shady trees and a lot of good things. And yeah I'm happy they saved it, that's fine. But that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you soon back in Munich. Have a good time, goodbye.